All right. <sighs> Yoana. Yoana not champion, man. Yoana was, they let the damn leash off of Yoana in um, Russia. In Russia, she was kind of showing her true colors. This video is not about that Russia stuff, but it took everything. It took all of me not to do a video about her and her antics in Russia. It really took all of me. Actually, I just happened to be busy and that's why I couldn't do the video, but I really wanted to do one. But it is what it is. The time has passed. But now here we are on Monday and the Monday morning, the Monday, I'm sorry, the MMA hour. So I was trying to listen to the MMA hour at work, but it was, like I said, it, that, that show is struggling, man. So I was listening. They were supposed to have JJ on and it just kept getting pushed back and pushed back. So I was like, dang, you know, I thought I had, I thought I turned it on right in time to be able to maybe catch JJ or right a little bit before JJ, but she, it, I listened to I painfully listened to like 30 minutes um, and she wasn't on there. So I said, you know what? Let me go over to Ariel show. So I went over to Twitter. Like I said, guys, I opened up the Twitter. I have opened up the Twitter. The Twitter account is rolling for channel MMA with Jay. Check me out in the description. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You know, you can hear my candid response to a lot of things, to be honest. Things that I may not do a video about, but you can just kind of check out um, my responses. We can kind of chit chat on there. And I'm also taking video requests on there. You know, somebody sent me a video request right on one of my tweets. So I thought that was pretty cool. Shout out to Alejandro. You know, he was watching the MMA Hour. T- or Actually, I don't know what he was watching, but Joanna was on both the MMA Hour and Ariel Show. You know, so the one I saw was when she was on Ariel Show. She was on Ariel Show, and basically she said, you know, they were talking about a lot of things. A lot of things. Now, I can't just roast Joanna. I actually cannot just roast her. Because only Ariel can really get out certain responses from the fighters and that's why I appreciate all of the work that he puts in seriously I mean I appreciate this guy so much but um especially for the sport of MMA and just MMA media but anyways he asked her he said look I'm getting a whole lot of flack from all the flyweights because I'm saying that you're the the top contender you're the person that the UFC should be tapping for Valentina and Joanna said really I'm surprised that the flyweights are giving you hell about them picking me And she just kept it very real with every flyweight on the roster. And I had to back her up on it. I actually had to back her up on it. And somebody questioned me in the comments. They were like, you're crazy. You know, they were kind of like, is Joanna's professional? But she is. That's exactly what she said. She said, look, I'm sorry that I'm reliable and that I'm professional and that I have actually seen and touched and owned the gold belt. I've actually climbed all the way up to the top of the mountaintop and I've seen the sunrise. Joanna said that shit and I almost got chills right there at work. I was like, you know, she's right. I said, wow, I'm agreeing with JJ. Hot damn. I might play the lottery today or some shit because, you know, it's just one of them days. So, but yeah, she said that straight up. She was like, I'm sorry that I'm reliable. That I'm, I, that I'm a future former champion. That I was a brutal, like, I was a dominant, brutal champion. And that's something you can't deny. And I was always professional. And she was always, she never missed weight. Never missed weight. Never made, now she made hella excuses. But she never made excuses. She always made her excuses after the fact. But she never made them so that it meant that she didn't have to do something like, oh, I'm going to have to call out today, guys, because I'm just not into it. She was never that fighter. When she lost the belt, she took her ass. She was not happy about losing that belt, but she took her ass on that post fight press conference. She took her ass right up on that stage and she faced the music. That is that is a sign of professionalism, whether we like it or not. Whether we like it or not, it is a sign of professionalism. Never missed weight. She went through hell and back about them about a lot of weight cuts. We know the the main one that she said, oh, that was the one that made her lose the belt. But but she's been through a lot of grueling, grueling um weight cuts. You know, she always used to come on the scale looking like she like just bones covered in skin. 
you know, just literally looking like bones covered in skin, in thin skin. So um, I think that she always struggled with those weight cuts. So yeah, I'm glad she said that. Yoana is the girl. She is that girl. She's climbed the mountain and she has been able to stay there long enough to watch the sunrise. Now, she didn't say it in those exact words, but that's exactly what how I felt. She has been up there. She's been up there to the top. Um, so, you know, I'm not going to dwell on that too long because I hate to agree with JJ that damn much. But she said it and it rang like a bell to me. It rang true to me. So, um, you know, that was JJ's thoughts on basically the flyweights, uh, you know, getting antsy about not being able to get their chance at the strap. But the thing is, when you're being duh, when you're being when you're being jumped over or when you're being sidelined, you're always going to have to find a reason to why you should be the one. You have to be able to plead your case. So I'm not mad at the flyweights. I'm not mad. Ariel Hawani's got thick skin. You can I think that they can give it to him. You know, he. I don't think he really cares one way or the other, but, um, but yeah, that was her thoughts on, that was her thoughts on the flyways being upset. Now her thoughts on going up against Valentina, Ariel said, and to be honest, Ariel asked the same question that that Russian, uh, guy asked the interviewer in Russia asked, he asked the exact same question, but she went slap off on that Russian interviewer. She went slap off on him. He just said, uh, I know that you fought with Valentina in the past. Uh, since you have lost to her, how do you feel about going up against her now? It looks like you're the next contender. She's like, uh, did you watch that fight? Did you see that? Did you see that fight? Did you see it? What did you think? What did you think about that fight? Did you? Oh, you thought I? He was like, I thought you lost. <laughs> she was like, Oh, you thought I lost, huh? Oh, really? I was just like, oh, Yoana, man. Somebody didn't give her a mess this morning, man. I'm not sure what's going on, but Yoana went slap off on that guy. And then the other guy who asked that Connor question, same thing. She put his ass right on blast. Um, come here in front of the camera. Come step up here. My goodness. Being a journalist is a that that's a hard job. Anyways, let's get back into it. So Ariel asked, he said, Look, you've lost to Valentina a few times in Muay Thai. Is there any revenge fighting her again? She said, no, there's no revenge. This is MMA. This is MMA. He says, so are you up? Are you willing to fight her? Are you up for fighting her? She said, yeah, let's make it happen. The thing is, I understand that some people saw that as like, she said, let's make it happen. She's kind of calling out Valentina. Trust me. This fight is already made. Everybody is like, they're all walking around like the cat that got the cream, man. They're all acting like the cat that got the cream. Everybody is licking their lips and their paws and they're grinning from ear to ear. The fight is made. The UFC is just always on this bullshit about when they want to announce the fight. That's the only thing. But the fight is made. Trust me. They're just waiting a little bit. They're just waiting a little bit of time. Joanna said on this interview, she said, look, just call me next week. Call me next week and let's see if I can talk more about it. Because she kept saying, I can't talk about it. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. She was, man, your wallet was so damn giddy. I bet, I bet it was like, I bet she's probably getting championship pay to go in there and fight with, uh, you know what I mean? To get this flyweight, to get this flyweight, I was going to say get the strap, but I <laughs> I don't see that happening. But to to fight with Valentina for the strap, I bet she's getting championship pay. I bet they both are. With the way this flyweight division has just been screwed over by Nico, they got to do something to kick it back into, you know, they need to put some high octane shit in there. The expensive shit. They really do. So I'm glad. I think that they're just waiting until after the Connor press conference. After the Connor press conference, they're going to announce and they need something to announce because this Connor fight, Connor Khabib fight, it really is going under the radar. And I don't know. I think it's going to bite them in the ass. I really do think it's going to bite them in the ass. But, you know, after this press conference, they're going to announce the main event for UFC 230, John Jones versus whoever, or, uh, yeah, John Jones versus Daniel Cormier at heavyweight. I mean, that's my thought on it. But, or John Jones versus Gustafson at light heavyweight. But I really think it's going to be John Jones versus Daniel Cormier, Cormier at heavyweight. But, um, and then they're going to announce... This fight, Joanna, or they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna announce Joanna versus Valentina Shevchenko. 
for the flyweight strap. And I hope that I hope that it's at UFC 232. They're also going to announce Jessica Andrade. I'm sorry. They're also going to announce Rose Nama Yunus versus Jessica Andrade. All of these fights are coming up, guys. All of these fights are coming out. The buzz isn't for nothing. Trust me, guys. The buzz is absolutely not for nothing. A big, loud boom is on its way. There's some heavy shit coming, and I'm looking forward to it straight up. Anyways, guys, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Leave your thoughts in the comment section.